In the exciting, dynamic world of startups, please sit down. <laughs> Every now and then, a rare breed emerges. Uh, game changers that have the potential to reshape markets, create new ones, and that too with groundbreaking, path-breaking solutions that fuel growth. They are called unicorns. Home of the highest, third highest, uh, number of unicorns is India with a unicorn count of 100, uh, jointly valued at close to $333 billion. All this is correct, right? Okay. So today we have someone with us who attained unicorn status for his company Oyo way back in 2018. His story is the stuff that legends are made of. He is a role model for millions, a man who understood the gap in the market, the needs of the market, and went about success, successfully fulfilling the needs of the market, and that too at a very, very young age. He is the youngest, no, you want to say youngest male self-made billionaire or the second youngest self-made billionaire. Either way, he is Ritesh Agarwal. I'm very, very excited to be here today, to be interviewing you. I've inter interviewed a lot of sports people uh, in my time, but a maverick like you, I was very, very excited that I'm going to get this opportunity. So let's get right to it. Um, first up, what, I mean, you, you, back at the age of 13, you were selling SIM cards, am I right? At 2019, you start a company. And, uh, sorry, 2013, you started a company at the age of 19. And here we are, the s second youngest self-made billionaire in the, in the world. What does your drawing board look like? Like, how does it start? How do you sit down and say, okay, this is what's missing. This is what I need to do. Here's how, here's how I fill in the gap. What does your drawing board, or what did your drawing board look like back then? First off, thank you so much for having me here. It's such a fantastic group to be around. Um, also, of course, it's an honor to be interviewed by you. I have, of course, followed all the fantastic interviews you've uh, you know, uh, had with sports people and brought the best and probably, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, sometimes the worst also. <laughs> but So I hope I try. He knows what to expect. Chalo. <laughs> with all due respect, sure. <laughs> no, but thank you so much for having me. Look, I think... First off, uh, I'm very lucky to be born um, uh, in India in these times, right? India is such an, in such an exciting times today. Uh, I believe that India is today a startup nation. India has a startup population. India has a startup, of course, prime minister. And India has just a, there's a spirit of excitement, right? Like everybody wants to do something new. Nobody is satisfied with where they are, right? Now, when you talk about it, you say that I want to do There's something next in their mind. So I think this is... I feel I was just at the right place at the right time. I was in India at this time, I, and um, uh, I tried to make the most out of it. So that's the background for myself. Dikhi, uh, for a lot of uh, uh, families, including my family, I grew up in Raigada. A lot of people of you would have never heard about this place name in Odisha, in Odisha, Andhra Pradesh border. If you are lower middle income families, then study likhai was the only source of coming out. So our parents also used to say that you will study, I mean, I was second, why did you come to the second? Why did you come to the second? Why did you come to the first? It's necessary, I think, it's a pursuit of excellence. But after that education, the first path was that education leads to a good job. I think today the world is slightly different. I think education doesn't just lead to a good job, it also leads to an ability of creating impact to billions of lives. And in the process also creating substantial wealth. अभी आपका जो सवाल है कि मेरा ड्राइंग बोर्ड कैसे लगता है, I think दो तीन चीज़ सबसे पहला है very active बहुत जितना समय आप कर सकें make sure I think इसका सिंपल तरीका है desire, devotion and diligence. Desire का मतलब है बड़ा सोचने के पहले डरना नहीं है. I have always never been afraid of thinking big and थोड़ा बहुत the Thiel Fellowship right after my twelfth grade I had the opportunity to be a Thiel Fellow. So Peter Thiel is the founder of PayPal, early investor in Facebook. He gives $100,000 to 20 people under the age of 20. So I went from Odisha to Kota for my 11th and 12th grade, Mahasi Sida, San Francisco, talking about culture shocks. But I think 
the one big thing I learned was thinking big did not cost money. You could like think big and you didn't need any resources for it. So we started thinking, we thought that first we were in Gurgaon, only in the South City 1, the biggest guest house chain, people were laughing and saying, how will it become in the South City 1? Then we thought that we will become the biggest guest house in India. You don't need resources for that. You don't have any resources, you can't execute it, but you can think. So that is one. If you don't have desire, the ability of having devotion will be very little. Second is devotion. And I mean it mostly in terms of hard work. I personally, of course, try to be as spiritual. I was this morning in Mumbai. I go to Siddhi Vinayak every time I'm in Mumbai. But that's sort of my personal interest. But what I mean by devotion is really being able to work hard and being on the ground. So every week I would be, or every month I'd be out there on meeting our hotel owners and clients for 10 days a month. I don't need to, nor do most uh, business leaders who are building business of large scale. But if you don't have your land and land on the ground, if you don't have your customers, because you have to remember that the love and love is that because you are using your customers. If your customers are gone, then after a week nobody will recognize me or our company. So make, remembering that and not forgetting it and keeping your foot on the ground is very crucial. And the last is diligence, being uh, attentive to detail. If a customer had a great experience, they say it was not happening. In their brand ke scale, pe, they should do this all the time. But if someone was late in a camera in a camera for 15 minutes, then his tweet came to me that you should come to the water in the time. And his diligence is my responsibility that that shows up. Like somebody shows up to meet the client next day saying that, sorry, we got it wrong. Next time we'll do better. So I think uh, desire for doing something big, devotion for making sure you work hard, there is no compromise to it. There is no shortcut to success. Everybody knows it, but I will keep reiterating it. And the last one is, of course, diligence, key attention to detail. So his D for drawing board has three Ds, desire, devotion, and diligence. Uh, that's beautiful. And I like that, that what you said, K, thinking big does not cost any money. I think that's a wonderful thing to sort of keep at the back of your mind. Uh, you know, you don't have to pay to have dreams. Another D. Now, your, uh, the Oyo story is really, it's reached legendary status, you know. Uh, when, at what point did you realize that, you know, I have a winner here. This one is going to really take off. I think first off, you told that, uh, you know, uh, being able to make sure that, uh, you're, uh, you know, thinking big, I told you that thinking big doesn't cost money. I think it's much like sports, or you sports pe, matlab, you have more context than most others uh, here. I think I'm very inspired by uh, Novak Djokovic in this, right? Like coming from Serbia and uh, somebody who most people would not have believed, and today Wimbledon season is so it's easier to relate karna. To now being probably the, you know, in the millennial lingo, the OG of, um, you know, tennis, grand slams, there ever has been anyone. So I think it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what your resources are. It's easy to blame where you come from, your resources for uh, not being successful. But if you have the desire and the ability to see the dream and the ability to work, I think success is an outcome. The question of when did I think Oh, it would be there. I'll tell you this, that there was never actually an aha moment. It was very organic. Uh, should, uh, I'll go back in time a little bit. Barbi Kaksha ke baad mein chhe mahine hote hain school or university ke beech mein. Us samay hamne socha ki I was naive enough to think that I should start a company of my own. Aur mujhe lagta hai naivety bhoot zaruri hai. I think naivety helps because if I knew how hard it was, I'd probably had thought a lot more. You have fallen off the wagon. <laughs> right? But because I was naive, I thought that, look, it probably is not that hard. So I thought, let me give it a go anyway. I think uh, the first hotel I started was, one, our hotel owner's name was Mr. Uh, Rajesh Yadav. So Mr. Yadav had a 20-room property in Gurgaon. I told him that your occupancy is 20%. I will percent it He looked at me and he said, Dekho, Ritesh bhai, I feel like aapka sara proposition is interesting, lag so I will give you the deal. But I don't think that it's going to happen like this. But where will 20% occupants go from the bottom? So can they go up or will they stay in the middle of it? I think they will stay in the middle of it. If they go up, then the bonus is an upside. I think in the first two months, with deep, like I said, desire, devotion and diligence, how to make the ratings better, how to take the dynamic pricing, how to reach the more customers, how to reach the property occupancy, we have reached 80-90% to 80-90%. 
suddenly what happened is around that period uh, you know mr yadav's friends around said aapke yahan pe bahut cars abhi parked hoti hain badi taxis aa rahi hain aapke hotel pe so he said maine oyo se attach kar liya hai to mera business badh gaya so i started getting calls from people and people did not know how to call oyo then people used to call us yoyo because that was the time when that used to be very popular right so people used to call and say ki hame yoyo mein attach karni hai ji so i used to say ha yoyo hi hai jo bhi aap judne ke liye taiyar hai hamare sath franchise karne ke liye taiyar hai to bahut acha so that's how we went from like in one year from one to almost 60 hotels in gurgaon and then the same hotels had some properties in delhi and many more i'm happy to share that today there is probably worldwide 1.7 lakh of these properties of course in india we have tens of thousand or 10000 plus but we have them in southeast asia and indonesia and every, every day without fail i get and it is amazing because mujhe lagta hai isse hamare desh ke log duniya bhar ghum rahe hain mujhe aaj subah kisi ka photo aaya ki oyo ko maine dekha mexico mein kisi ka photo aaya ki maine las vegas mein dekha kisi ka message aaya ki maine aapka oyo home dekha france mein kisi ka photo aaya ki maine aapke homes mein thehre hum log denmark mein to malaysia mein i got a uh, picture this morning in bukit bintang district in uh, kuala lumpur to mujhe badi khushi hoti ki ek mere liye to pride hai hi hai but mujhe ye lagta hai ki indian brands which are becoming successful globally unke piche 1.5 billion log hain pura bharat desh laga hua hai ki hamare brands ko hum log duniya bhar mein dekhein jaise aap jab hamara sports match hote hain aap of course hum log WTC के फाइनल्स नहीं जीत पाए बट आप अगर वो स्टेडियम में टीवी में या फिर इन पर्सन देखते तो पूरा स्टेडियम वॉज फिल्ड विद इंडियंस वी वर चेयरिंग इवन ऑन द लास्ट स्टेज जब लग भी रहा था कि हम नहीं जीतेंगे बिकॉज आज के दिन में देर आर वन एंड हाफ बिलियन ड्रीम्स वॉन्टिंग टू सी इंडिया विन इन एवरी फॉर्म इन स्पोर्ट्स इन एंटरटेनमेंट इन आंटरप्रन्योरशिप इन कंज्यूमर ब्रांड्स सो आई फील दैट दैट प्रॉबली वॉज द मोमेंट वेर आई फेल दैट दिस इज प्रॉब्ली गोइंग टू बी बिग बट आई थिंक इट्स every year i sort of recommit myself to say that there is even more exciting things to be done jaisa aapne bataya ki oyo is successful today main aapko batata hu as an entrepreneur mere dil mein mujhe lagta hai ki humne to bas abhi shuruaat kari hai and there is so much to be done there is so many learnings that we've had that we can improve so much from where we are today so uh, i feel very excited about what the next decade has for india and of course for our company as well that's lovely like a yo yo you brought all of these hotels this way and upwards but you know you said uh, when you were with a yeah, with that hotel owner how i mean your age how did you get people to trust you that's a, i mean you look like a very young person and and for somebody to put their faith and and trust into you how did you how did you do that because that's key no i think that's a very good question see at the end of the day uh, what i have learned is that i get to work around people who are all way more successful probably uh, way more uh, worldly wise than i am so i always ask myself ki what value do i add to the table and i'll give you three different examples first is my leadership uh, a lot of leaders in my team uh, uh, come from uh, at least three of them are uh, have uh, are from harvard business school multiple of them are from great schools great companies a lot of them have worked in uh, fantastic companies like mckinsey bcg bain etc et so i ask myself constantly that what value do i add on the table so every monday we have a management committee so sunday evening i am probably the one that works the hardest to prepare for the next day because i constantly have this good sense of insecurity and i call it a good sense of insecurity because it pushes me mujhe ek tarike se it inspires me ki main aur apni taraf se aur kya behtar kar sakta hu usme mujhe over time i have learned that my appreciation of my consumers and hotel owners on the ground is a unique value addition that i can bring because i have personally signed hundreds of these hotels i personally hosted tens of thousands of these customers so i try to bring that unique value to that place second is with our hotel partners i think hotel par- these are all hotels who run hotels which are worth millions of dollars right they are uh, very valuable properties and they in some way think that i'm trusting oyo and the people behind it that they will take care of my property and make sure that the value accretion is higher i have seen that wahan pe agar aap constantly agar logon se uh, baat kar rahe hain aur logical conversation kar sakte hain that people can respect and third if you're willing to listen being be a good listener along with being a good speaker i have seen that people sort of over time respect you a lot more like you know this room is full of uh, you know uh, great leaders i hope i'm making uh, i'm bringing some value to the room so i'm able to sort of uh, hopefully communicate something that makes sense the last but not the least and this is probably the most important 
आई थिंक पैशन और एक जो सेंस ऑफ बिलीफ है ना बड़ा कंटेजियस है अगर आपके अंदर वो पैशन और बिलीफ है ना लाइक पीपल कैन सी इट इतना ऑथेंटिक होता है कि यू कॉन्ट मेक इट अप अगर आप में पैशन नहीं है तो सामने वाले लोग देख सकते हैं अगर आप में नहीं है वो भी देख सकते हैं अगर है वो भी देख सकते हैं सो आई थिंक आई होप दैट आई ट्राई टू सॉर्ट ऑफ मेक माई पैशन नोट यू कैन एड वन मोर थिंग टू द लिस्ट यूर अ वेरी इंस्पायरिंग स्पीकर यू कैन से दैट द नेक्स्ट टाइम when somebody asks you what are what do you bring to the table this is also something but you spoke of passion just now um firstly how important is passion as far as you know uh making a startup successful and is passion something that is inborn only or is it something that uh, can also be cultivated dekhiye first of i think uh पैशन किसी भी चीज़ के लिए एनी थिंग दैट इज़ आउट ऑफ नॉर्मल करने के लिए बहुत ज़रूरी है uh, क्योंकि इन माई व्यू हाउ आई डिफाइन पैशन इज पैशन इज समथिंग दैट कीप्स यू गोइंग वेन एवरी लॉजिकल रीजन स्टॉप्स यू फ्रॉम डूइंग द सेम थिंग राइट एंड आई गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल इन द नाइन एंड हाफ ईयर जर्नी आई है देर हैव बीन एटलीस्ट फाइव टाइम्स जहाँ पर लोगों ने कहा है कि आपकी कंपनी इन्विंसिबल है एंड देर इज़ एटलीस्ट थ्री टाइम्स जहाँ पर लोगों ने हमारी ऑर्बिचुरीज लिखी कि ओयो इज़ नॉट गोइंग टू सी द सन लाइट नेक्स्ट मंथ राइट दोनों ही समय में इट्स ईजी टू गेट कैरीड अवे राइट बट अगर आप में वो इनेट बिलीफ है कि जो मैं काम कर रहा हूँ मुझे उसके लिए प्यार है रैदर दैन द आउटकम आई थिंक पैशन कीप्स यू गोइंग राइट इन कोविड वैन होटल इंडस्ट्रीज रेवेन्यूज फेल बाई सेवेंटी एटी परसेंट ओवर नाइट um and people sort of said pakka ab to ho gayi and it was like a fantastic beer conversation if people were able to catch up at all together in person uh for a discussion right i think it just kept us going we had this innate belief that we will make this work but that said passion ko balance karna chahiye with what you are like i think hard work or training and getting better at your art usse koi compromise nahi hai sometimes people get very passionate and probably don't try to be as good at Uh, the art or their work i think that is very very crucial there is no compromise like if there is a choice between passionate and uh, hard work for the art i will choose hard work for the art like that probably uh, is more important than passion because passion in itself is cheap but passion combined with the devotion dedication and desire is valuable you can keep valuable. that hard work going only if you have the passion it's like one works with the other life is absolutely. about balance isn't it absolutely absolutely okay. but dekhi ek I will just call out. Lot of times I see that entrepreneurship ना हम लोग सब impact के लिए शुरू करते हैं छोटी जगह से आए हैं बड़ा काम करना चाहते हैं लोगों को I want to see millions of people impacted. उसके लिए हमारा क्या difference create कर सकते हैं But when a lot of external communication is about just the money, saying unicorn बन गए billion dollars आ गए आपका value इतना हो गया I think कई बार passion uh, uh, becomes focused on wealth. Uh, or money or uh, uh, visibility of yourself that i think i encourage people to uh, remember that entrepreneurship is unfortunately not the shortcut to become a billionaire is pe bahut mehnat ka kaam hota hai you have to basically go through those sleepless nights you have to go through those days like within a day between feeling that i'm doing everything right to sometime feeling that i probably got everything wrong why is the world sort of uh, not appreciating what i do to saying that why is the world over appreciating what i have done i think those swings you have to almost go through every day and be at balance at all times because you are responsible for your customers partners shareholders and so on so i just feel like uh, jab tak passion mission oriented ya purpose oriented hai tab it just side i think it sort of allows you to do things which uh, you know uh, feel inhumanly impossible You know, I heard a clip somewhere of yours where you said, "Impact before financial gains." Right? That is what's very important. But when does profitability start coming into the picture? When do profitability goals start coming into the picture as far as startups are concerned? ये बहुत अच्छा सवाल है. I always think that it's very important to differentiate between uh, individual financial gains and enterprise financial gains, which is the company. I think company's profitability there is absolutely no compromise for, because if you want to make the difference, अगर आप अगर हमने अगर आज हम लोग 20 million या 50 million लोगों को impact करें उसे 100 million करना है, 
we have to make sure that you're financially sustainable and attractive in order to fund that opportunities in the future. Otherwise, the law of nature is if you're not financially sustainable, there is no free money forever. There is only some early investment you can receive for building your enterprise, but uske baad mein aapko apne do mein khada hona padega, in all f ways of meaning that it stands for. So our company, for instance, uh, when we started initially, for, in the small business used to generate a uh, bottom line. Then we started investing in our technology and brand and did have losses for a long period of time. But I'm happy to report that FY23 that we just finished was our first uh, EBITDA positive year. We generated around 33 million in EBITDA. And uh, I'm not saying this, but some of the rating agencies who view our company uh, project anywhere between 55 to $80 million in this year coming up. So I hope we can deliver better than what they're suggesting. I feel privileged sharing the stage with him. You should feel privileged you're in the same room as him, honestly. So what are the, what in your opinion are the important factors that contribute uh, to a startup becoming a unicorn? I think first off I must say that I feel privileged that I get this opportunity. I genuinely, I must tell you that I think gratitude is a very important thing that people forget. I think there is a very significant thankfulness that you get so much love, so much motivation and motivation to get more and more. And frankly, sometimes if you forget a little bit, then you get a good feedback. And I thank them very much from my heart. And I listen to whatever our criticism is, and I listen to it. And of course, how do we divide the signal and noise, how do we get better from the signal and how do we get better from the signal? I think what allows a startup to be a unicorn? It's a good question. सबसे पहला तो मेरा मानना ये है कि unicorn और success में same line में नहीं मानता। मेरे हिसाब से आप unicorn हो सकते हैं, but that probably is not the only definition of success. मेरे हिसाब से मैंने impact आज शायद कई बार बात किया। I think impact and making a difference। मैं आपको बताऊँ इतनी खुशी होती है मुझे जब भी मैं I drive from Delhi to Jaipur, Chandigarh, and I see so many OYOs, I feel very happy. And our colleagues, we call it and say that in the hotel owner, first of all, their income was 20,000,000, now it's 60,000,000, and we have contributed a little bit. I think that feeling is unparalleled, not just for me, for every entrepreneur, who is a small business. So, with me, it's the first thing that you have to focus on the entrepreneurial impact. The second thing, you have to ensure that for that success, Ensure that beyond building a great product, you have a lot of attention to a good team. I think my leadership is almost 10 people and their average tenor in the company is 8 years and the company is 10 years old. So almost all the people have been with me for the entire period and I hope will remain for a long time. In today's day and age, that's long. That's serious loyalty. No, and I hope that we all, you know, retire together. Uh, I mean, not together because we have some difference in age, but uh, uh, I think we get to work for as long as we can together. I think ek mera akhri sujhav hota hai, which is that be perseverant. Maine dekha hai ki people give up too early, in a good or a bad way. Good way because people feel that bahut mehnat kar li, uh, and there is that moment you feel like right. But I feel uh, kisi entrepreneur ke liye, jiske liye impact itna important hai. If they're not coming with a sense of purpose in the morning next day, I think they're probably going to go back thinking that, you know, in a, in a few months that I'm probably not doing something and they, sh they would like to start something new. So if you have something that's working well and you feel like you can make a difference, I think both in good times and tough times, I always say this, if you're digging a tunnel, uh, uh, I lost my dad early this year, but my dad used to be a, a, a railway engineer, railway and road construction engineer. So he also used to say this. Uh, and used to build roads uh, and railways uh, in the like in tough mountainous terrains. So used to say that uh, when you're digging a tunnel, it's very easy to give up because it's all darkness around you, right? But if you keep digging, there will be sunshine on the other side at some point of time. So I think being perseverant is very crucial. If you keep digging, there is always sunshine at the end of the tunnel. Is my view as well. So basically, what Ritesh is saying is, wait for the sunshine on the other side. There is light at the end of the tunnel, as they say. Um, how has Startup India helped in boosting the startup ecosystem in India? You know, I was listening to, uh, given, I'm sorry, I, I use sports analogies anyway. It's not just because you're here. I was listening to, uh, now I think, 
one time champion and one time finalist of ipl uh, captain hardik pandya from gujarat titans and it's it's amazing right like he's also gone through so many highs and lows and he's come back always in a manner that's unparalleled and you know i mean you have to give it to the guy that uh, of course i mean if you're competing against dhoni like if there's one person you want to lose from i think it's dhoni so i i i, I like i i believe that he had a great like he's privileged to be there but i was listening to him and he said uh there are two ways of building a team one is you know you bring uh, like you pay the top dollars and bring the best people and the second one is you create the most enabling environment for your team members for your support staff and work together to create success i think what startup india has done for uh, india is exactly the same i think startup india has created an enabling environment 2016 ki baat hai startup india ka udghatan us din us saal hua tha to hamari mother usse pehle hamesha kehti rehti thi ki ye startup wala jo tum kaam kar rahe ho ye shayad tum galat sangat mein pad gaye ho jin logon ne tumhe samjha diya ye startup ki duniya mein jaane ke liye tumhe naukri ki taraf jaldi karna chahiye otherwise it will be too late and i have three siblings and all my three siblings are asian parents dream engineering business school great jobs so they used to always seem to black sheep nikla uh, so in that construct 2016 mein when honorable prime minister inaugurated startup india and uh, very generous of him he said main jab bhi ritesh se sunta hu mujhe lagta hai ki ek chai wale ne hotel chain ka uh, uh, business idea ke bare mein kyun nahi socha now it's a, like from his perspective saying that it's a big deal now my mom was looking at that on national television so next day when she spoke to me she said you must be doing something right and i don't say this from a personal stories context just because it affected me or our company i think it affected tens of millions of people to say that shayad startups is not such a bad thing ab main kisi se baat kar raha tha we have a weddings business a wedding with a z we host one of the like we host annually 30000 weddings in our banquets so speaking to somebody who's one of our partners he was he is in the matrimonial business i'm married so i was not discussing for my personal the reason i gave context to say that ab meri shaadi married hogi. please wish him thank you thank got you. married this year this year this, this year, year as well it's been a roller coaster year lucky lady uh, but when, when i was speaking to him unhone kaha ki aajkal startup entrepreneurs are actually at the top of the list of matrimonial prospects both uh, male and female बिकॉज लोग कहते हैं पैशनेट होते हैं लोग कहते हैं कि उनकी टेक्नोलॉजी अंडरस्टैंडिंग बेहतर होती है सो सडनली इंक्रीजिंगली पीपल से दैट अर्लियर गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स वुड बी एट द टॉप ना गवर्नमेंट जॉब स्टिल वेरी रेलिवेंट बट आंट्रप्रनोरशिप इज गेटिंग क्लोज और प्रॉबली हेड सो इट्स आई थिंक इट्स फैंटेस्टिक टू हैव एन एनेबलिंग एनवायरमेंट फॉर टैलेंट फॉर इन्वेस्टर्स फॉर बिजनेस ओनर्स लाइक द स्टार्टअप इवेंट्स स्टार्टअप इन अवार्ड्स विच दे डू एनुअली एंड आई बीन अ जूरी मेम्बर फॉर लास्ट टू थ्री ईयर्स हैज मेड अ ह्यूज डिफरेंस इन ब्रिंगिंग टूगेदर फैंटेस्टिक न्यू कंपनीज टू द फोर इट्स जस्ट एन इनक्रेडिबल फीलिंग मंदिरा टू बी एट अ प्लेस जहाँ पे अभी हम लोग गए थे इंडिया ग्लोबल फोरम हुआ था यू के में आई हैड द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू मीट प्राइम मिनिस्टर प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ यू के प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऋषि सुनक ही ऑफकोर्स uh said that he's looking forward to come to india at the g20 and have the mithai here he loves barfi he said uh but he but he knew about oyo and our investments and he said we are really looking forward to more investments from india i do an annual program where i invest in 5 to 10 young companies in the pahadi jagal uh, ilako mein ladakh mein himachal mein jinko hum equity free grants dete hain apni business banane ke liye ki koi buckwheat se tea banate hain koi local brewery banate from the local format to har saal we try to take these entrepreneurs to london as a part of the india global uh, forum right just the amount of excitement people had whether you are uh, uh, you, you know lord whether you are uh, you know sir i think they like these five kids who went from ladakh who, whose first international trip ever they ever got a passport and a visa they were the like the heart of the show so that's what we have today i think it's just an incredible time for startup india's impact to be visible around the world where young indian entrepreneurs whether you're from raigada or gaya or kerala or ladakh um, or somewhere in the northeast you are not thinking that i want to build and create impact in my town you are not thinking i want to build create impact in odisha or bihar you are thinking that i want to build a world champion and that's what startup india has done in my view uh, in the last 7 8 years what do you think that the state governments should do so that support is received even in smaller places where people are wanting 
to start businesses, startups? So I'll break it into two parts. First is, I think the state governments, I, I think, have done an incredible job. For us in India, I think what is fascinating is that we got into the entrepreneurship bandwagon at the right time because we have great demographic dividend. This year, India became the world's most populous country. Uh, one in, I think, five or six people is an Indian today. Uh, we have an incredible populace which is making a difference around the world, which means that our ability to launch entrepreneurial ambitions is an opportunity and a necessity in some way. So, when Bharat ka startup India ka udghatan hua ya launch hua, I saw that suddenly in all states, which is a cooperative federalism in our country, in all states, the started competition in all states. Ki who can outdo the other to have startups be in their own state. I hail from Odisha. My business is in Haryana. My father and mother hail from Haryana and uh, Rajasthan respectively. And I speak fluent Telugu. So at least in these four states I have seen, jahan se mera khud ka rishta nata hai, itna active engagement raha hai, chahe wo startups ko fund karne ke liye LP contribution ho funds mein, chahe wo incubator set karna ho, chahe universities mein enablement set karna ho, I have seen that if you are a Mukhya Mantri or a Paritan Mantri, or an Industries Minister in the States, everybody meets entrepreneurs, like young entrepreneurs who never had a seat on the table earlier, right? Like in the last seven, eight years. Suddenly they get not just a seat on the table, they get an opportunity to share their view. So I think that first of all, states have done a great job in the last few years. It would not have been possible just with one intervention. It needed both. What can they do more? I think the first one is just a more enabling environment of making sure that when there are challenges, and understandably there will be challenges. We are a big country and we have a big population, many types of businesses, just give a listening ear. You know, entrepreneurs don't want solutions always. But if they get someone who can share their problems, I think that solves 50% of the problem. Because then they know that there is um, uh, you know, a patient listener no, not all solutions will come overnight, but there will be some solutions that will come over a period of time. And we have seen that happen, by the way, in the last seven, eight years. That's one. Second thing I would say is that just encourage them. I think, you know, entrepreneurs will be successful regardless. If you give them a chance, 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 if you give them a chance. Because like entrepreneurs, we are all first generation entrepreneurs, right? We are not family businesses in any way. So our upbringing and value system is very much like that. Our upbringing is of a format, like our parents say, we don't need to do business. So we have done, despite what we have done, the value system is still there, middle class upbringing, if you will contribute to the state, then it will create an impact on it. How do you ensure that you do the right thing? Your name and respect is more important than the money you make. That value system is there in almost all entrepreneurs. Most entrepreneurs are from the middle income or lower middle income backgrounds, right? So if you just encourage them, you will see that the positive impact in your states and nation come by. There is no question. We are seeing that already. Just keep doing more to get more upside. Ritesh, how about the education system? I mean, you thought something of it that you well, everybody knows you dropped out. So any tweaks, any changes we can make in the education system so as to, you know, help develop a mindset of an entrepreneur? Look, this has been a very passionate discussion in a recent time. Our country's education minister is from Odisha. So he gets a chance to talk about it once again. First of all, I want to clarify what I want to do in education. I believe, when we started the TL Fellowship, when we started the TL Fellowship, in the contract there is one line that starts the contract, right? The line is, and please consider listening to it carefully, we never let university interfere with education. Yaniki, I'll say it again, we never let university interfere with education, meaning education opportunities are everywhere. University is just one of the ways of getting there, right? Academics, academics vis-a-vis -vis real, real learning, world, uh, real learning. world learning. Right. But within academics, we get many opportunities, right? There is um, uh, IGNU kind of learning. There is uh, skill-specific learning. Uh, there is, of course, uh, university system. So, my first thing is that in the education system, there is a change in the world we live in. Whether we are talking about AI, whether we are talking about artificial intelligence, or about America and India's collaboration, 
uh, whether it is um, uh, in the opportunities of data science, whether it is in the opportunity of the new economy where physical and digital are actively integrating, which is the digital impact. I think the new education policy that has come about is making a massive difference. And this is quietly impact a lot of us who follow it may be seeing it. The amount of school collaborations between India and overseas in terms of curriculum has dramatically evolved. Access to knowledge has dramatically evolved. The number of overseas universities wanting to set up shop here is rapidly increased, but of course, it all takes time. But I can, like, I get those emails saying that, well, a friend of mine who's dean at this university is wanting to make an India visit to try and set up a university, would you mind spending time? So I'm seeing that there's a lot more of that time being spent. There is an active engagement between industry and academia that is happening. My view is that the each one of that, these four, five things that I mentioned, more of it will make a difference, especially the industry and academia connect. Silicon Valley became what it became, partly because of the existence of Stanford University and UC Berkeley there. Because the students there were actively interacting with entrepreneurs in the region. My sense is in the future, that will be the same case uh, in a lot of university towns in India as well. And we are hoping to make our difference. We are actively working with some universities in India. And I hope if you are an entrepreneur, hai, business owner, hai, industrialist, hai, to please consider actively working with Academia, selfishly for your cause. Because your companies will benefit, so will the nation. So uh, that's, that's my thought. I'm running short of time. I'm going to ask you one question, and then I have a rapid fire. So the rapid fire is going to be really quick. My one question, last big question to you is, I mean, we know of the Nikas and the Mama Earths and uh, Pristine. In your opinion, the contribution of women entrepreneurs to the, you know, startup ecosystem? No, I think, uh, I think that women entrepreneurs ka aaj ki din mein contribution already been unparalleled. They bring two to three very important things, right? I think they, of course, bring the ability to inspire, inspire millions of young and uh, women who, especially women who post uh, maternity don't come back to the workforce to say that it doesn't matter. If you have done well, you can be successful in the very long term. Everybody takes a, uh, uh, needs a break and companies should respect it because of natural progression. This is the first thing. they have also made a huge difference in women uh, employment. All of these leaders have replicated like Naika, who I'm closer to, like they have replicated a lot of leadership being women that further inspires more companies uh, to come about. Uh, my wife, uh, earlier girlfriend, is also an entrepreneur, small uh, business owner. So I feel, I see it very closer home, that the empathy and the attention to detail that she and other women entrepreneurs bring is probably superlative uh, to what uh, you know uh, I or probably my other male counterparts would bring. So my sense is, uh, you know, women entrepreneurship is waiting to happen, and I believe that if this really, like, women entrepreneurship really goes viral, I think it can be a multiplicative impact creator in our GDP. Like, I think हमारे देश को जितना GDP है आज, I think three trillion plus. Utna GDP agle das saal mein ya pandar saal mein, mujhe lagta hai sirf women entrepreneurs jod sakte hai, agar wo us tezi se join kare. Cheers to that. How's marriage in one word? Sorry? Rapid fire. How's marriage in one word? Oh, it's love. Say it in one word. It's love. Lovely. Okay. Correct answer. Okay. Um, if you were to choose one city to start a new business, which would it be? Mumbai, Delhi, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chandigarh. I, we started in Gurgaon, so Gurgaon, Haryana, all the way. Okay. How Maybe do you... Uttar Pradesh also, if, if I had to. I think uh, Gurgaon, Haryana, or Uttar Pradesh. Okay. Uh, how do you like to spend your weekends or days off, if you have any? Movie marathon, gaming marathon. Are you a gamer? Movie marathon, partying in a club, or at home with books? You're allowed to say none of the above. I think uh, two of the, one of these and one outside. I think home with books or sports. I still like to sort of play sports. Sorry, so I should have ahead. brought that into the mix. Sorry. Yes. I'm still because old school I, I, that I've way. I've seen all the sports analogies and I should have brought that into the mix. Okay, what is your comfort food? Maggie, Rajma Chawal, a tub of ice cream or? I think... Um, Chawal plus, right? Like it could be Rajma Chawal, Kadi Chawal, Dal Chawal. Doesn't matter. But Chawal plus plus. Chawal okay. 
if there was a movie to be made on your life, what would it be called? Ye kisi ne nahi pucha inse. I'm surprised. Uh, the, the, the perseverance uh, of someone who wasn't destined to be where he is. It's a very boring title. I'm just telling you, you could do better. It could be something like having dreams cost no money. But anyway, uh, who would be the lead? Having dreams cost no money. That's a good one. Yeah. It's a good one. Uh, well, who would be the lead actor? Who lead would you actor. like to play you? You know, I'm just, uh, I, I relate a lot with Karthik Aryan, right? Like small, small town boy Ooh, um, nice. making a big difference, um, has, has an ambition to make a big difference, uh, uh, is, is, is broken in and now sort of feels like he's a part of the uh, ecosystem. So I think I'd say uh, Karthik Aryan. And that's just top of mind. Yeah, big round of applause. We're going to see Karthik Aryan playing him in a movie very soon because you can manifest that, I'm sure. Now you met so many people, prime ministers, left, right and centre. Who is the one person left that you'd like to meet, who you'd like to have an engaging, you know, dinner with, you know, to pick the brain off? You know, there's quite a few. Uh, but I'll tell Rapid you Rapid fire means one. Yeah. Come up with the first one that came to I your mind. I think the three women Padma awardees from Karnataka uh, who just have such an inspiring story for the difference they have made for their communities. I'd love to have the opportunity to meet them and support them. How do you feel when people call you the second youngest self-made billionaire? I think I'm not very comfortable with that. I think uh, uh, I'm, I'm very happy uh, just being called a person who's building a you know, uh, a, a high quality startup making a difference for customers. I feel like, uh, you know, uh, money as an analogy is, call it probably my upbringing. I think uh, generally doesn't, I feel like next line tak kab ja sakte <laughs> Okay. One thing nobody knows about you. I think there's uh, a few, but one of them is I have had the same breakfast probably uh, five years now, till humanly possible, live, live apart a few days. The exact same breakfast. Yeah, I mean, two changes. I used, it used to be uh, Idli four years back, and it's been oats for Dalia for last uh, three and a half years. I hope that's not the rule in Oyo. <laughs> no. I hope there's very breakfast. At Oyo, you there. get all kinds of breakfast uh, uh, if you come. So it, it's just my choice. But, uh, you know, that, that just shows you that you have choice at Oyo. And my final question to you, you inspire so many. Who is your inspiration? Oh, I have so many uh, people who have inspired me, right? I think uh, if I have to name some in the entrepreneurial world, I think one that I always think about is Uday Kotak. Again, first generation entrepreneur, built a bank which is so uh, a clear leader in India, done it the right way. His entire team has been with him ever since he started his uh, company. Uh, and it doesn't feel like he's a first generation entrepreneur because he truly has uh, done it with charisma, with care, and with um, through the highs and lows. So I think he's probably one that would come to mind. And that's what you're doing too, and will continue to do so. It was an absolute pleasure talking to Thank you. you so much. I really enjoyed this conversation. I hope all of you did too. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I would much. request our speakers to... A few minutes over time. I request speakers to please stay on the stage. We have a small token of appreciation for you. I would now request Mr. Ranjish Ahuja, editor Z News and ZNews.com to please come up on the stage. I would also request Mr. Abey Oja, CEO Z Media Corporation Limited, to come on the stage and present a small token of appreciation from our side. Can we have a round of applause for Ms. Bedi and Mr. Agarwal? That was indeed quite an engaging uh, conversation on the unicorns in India and quite a candid rapid fire round as well.